So initial reports came out that some one of the officers had a rifle and he said, I've got a guy, I have permission to shoot. And everyone thought that one of the cops failed. That's that's not true. Some moron cop did ask for permission to shoot. Um, and thank God he didn't shoot because it was probably a civilian, but the shooter was already inside the school. But so you know that police, when they're responding, we hear of a shooting and there's somebody walking up to the school and we're not in uniform, whether I was a detective working homicide and showing up in a suit, we know not to draw our guns because we're going to get shot by cops. They call it blue on blue where cops are shooting cops. It happens a lot. So you're not supposed to draw your gun. You're not supposed to. You come out, now we see the shooter. We're out, we're engaging, boom, 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 and, hand, and put it back because we're going to get shot. This dummy did not have the shooter in his sights. The shooter was already in the school, had walked in the school, and some of the cops knew it, and we're not radioing it, even at this point. But here, this is the, the walking path of where he crashes with the star, how he makes his way, and then as he starts shooting, when he gets to the parking lot, the cop drives through the parking lot and drives by him as he's hiding by a car. Unfathomable to me. I taught at the police academy quite a few times. You actually have the sheriff's chaplain here in the back waving, and he's seen me speak too, even to the recruits. Back when I was a cop, and, and even afterwards, but we teach them when you're doing this, you're looking for feet in a parking lot. Daytime, there is no excuse not to find someone you're looking for. But he drives through, and I think part of his brain too, with the lousy training, with the lousy chief, with the lousy leaders he had, he did not want to see the shooter. He did not want to confront him. He didn't have his rifle out ready to go. None of these things. He did not want to see him, and he drove away. And then gunshots rip off the minute he's out of view around the building. Gunshots rip off, and he's not turning around to come back and confront him. He's letting him shoot into the building, boom, boom, boom. And so you know this too. As he's shooting in, no one is injured and no one is killed through those side windows. When people are telling you you need to do every window on the building, you don't. You need to harden the life openings. We'll go through those. But we don't have people getting killed by coming up to an elementary room and shooting them from outside. Is it going to happen someday? More than likely. But the shooter wants to see and have that godlike control of, I want to see him die. Because either I'm going to kill myself or sit life in jail, but I want that godlike control. So we want to be able to keep them out. For over two minutes, he's shooting literally at the school, at people at the school, and lockdown is not called for two minutes. Two minutes. We do not call lockdown. And what's sad is this goes on, their training and preparation for their lockdown fails them miserably. Anyone in this room use Raptor? Raptor's a good system. I'm not bad mouthing Raptor at all. The problem is, is Raptor gives you what you asked for. Raptor gave them because all they could afford was a Raptor lockdown on the phone. Um, training was not done well, and again, it doesn't fall on Raptor, it falls on the police. When do you push the lockdown? How do you do it? Who pushes it? The people inside that building eight were way more at fault than people at the front at the main office. Hearing it called on the radio should have been calling lockdown. The lockdown was also not tied into the PA systems other than a tone. That was it. The kids in room 111 and 112 were watching Lilo and Stitch on a smart board. It was blasting loud. I imagine it being the Elvis Presley point of the music's blaring. The kids only have another day left in that school, and then they're moving to another school to fifth grade. They're so excited, and a shooting's going on at their school for three minutes that they don't even know about. That, that whiteboard should have turned totally red. They couldn't even watch it, telling them to go in lockdown, and that classroom door was open and unlocked. The teacher attempts to close the door as he comes in. 